My name is Jason Zenobia. And I am Brent Zenobia. My name is Molly Rose, and I'm an ally. I'm Gregor Parado. Ty Stober. I'm Erica McGilvery, and I graduated from the University of Puget Sound in 2006. I graduated in 1993. I'm class of 1992. Class of 96. Yeah, class of 96. Uh, live in Seattle. When our days of youth are us. I don't think I really realized I was gay until I was 17-ish. I had come out to my friends, and then I my parents kind of found out. I never ever spoke to any of my friends about the fact that I was gay. It never occurred to me that I would be able to speak to anyone about it. I very much kept the sexual part of my life locked away. It sort of freaked me out at first because um, I didn't really have any other people that I knew of in my life that were gay role models at the time. I got sent to a doctor to be cured of being gay and uh, that was a really, really horrible time for me. My father in particular is very religious and he was not so thrilled to find that his daughter was gay. No one knew, I was too afraid to tell anyone. But it just makes it that much more difficult to be comfortable with who you are knowing that people that love you don't seem to love you on, on all accounts. For me, it was definitely when I came to UPS that I felt like things were going to get better and I didn't really realize how different it was until I came to college. Oddly, I suppose it was when I came here to campus um, and had other people to interact with that were gay as well. Once I was here on college, it was sort of like the opportunity to kind of awaken and, and be who I am and who I was going to be. I came to college at the University of Puget Sound and uh, was able to decide for myself that it didn't matter what anyone else thought. I knocked down the closet door so hard that people were hit by the shrapnel. I was really excited to see when I came to campus such a thriving LGBT group and was able to meet other people like me. Now we are at an officially sanctioned alumni event. The university wants us, the university welcomes us. Uh, we, all, we belong and we're part of it. It's a wonderful place. It's made more wonderful by uh, your presence in it. That was not possible to imagine in 1982. Right around the time that I was leaving Tacoma after I had graduated, um, I, I had a pink triangle on the back of my car and um, I, some random pedestrian asked me what it was. And, um, and I said, oh, you know, it's the gay pride symbol. And he was like, oh, yeah, um, and and we're not allowed to, it, the way you're supposed to display it is with the, the point pointing downward to show that we are not equal. And uh, he said, you know, you're only supposed to turn the, the triangle upright when we achieve equality. And I asked him, I said, well, what would that be? And he said, well, marriage. And I just laughed at him. I laughed in his face. It never occurred to me that there would ever be such a thing as marriage for same-sex couples at all. It wasn't even on my horizon, not something I even thought of. And now it's like a huge central part of my life that we are still, you know, in the middle of this struggle. We are legally That we are married. winning. That we, we, we are, are winning. winning. Now I feel so good. Eventually, within the next few years, I think uh, our actual equality will, will be a reality. I'm on the board of directors for Equal Rights Washington, um, so involved with the marriage equality campaign. I am president of a nonprofit called Geek Girl Con, which celebrates and supports geeky women of all types through events. I have a wonderful partner, and we've been together for nine years. It was not possible to imagine that I would meet this wonderful person. I am and wonderful. That, and that we would stay together for 17 and a half years. Mm -hmm. Had I just looked at the world the way it looked in 1982, I couldn't have imagined that it would be this much better. So it does get better. It does. You know, no matter what your situation is, um, there are people like you. You will come across them, and it will get better. I hope that you can find strength in knowing that there are people who might not know you and might be miles away, but that care. 
It may take some time for you to find those people, but they're there, and please go seeking them out. Someone loves you and someone will love you. You need to hang on because time kind of heals everything and people change and opinions change. And you always have to remember to own who you are and be super awesome. Ha, ha, ha.